tutorial, I want to look at using the lofted and contour flange commands in sheet metal. So I want to create a piece that sits over the top of the end. It's going to be rounded at the bottom, square at the top, and have matching flanges to um, close this off. So I'm going to use the create part in place. Uh, used by graphic input and I want to position the origin based on the center of that circle there. Change, make sure that the um, template is sheet metal and accept that and just use the standard template uh, allocated file name. So I want to do this in ordered so I'm just going to transition across and then I'll need to create a sketch at um, both ends for my loft. You may need to check that your pier edge locate is on. Um, and I'm going to do an arc by center point. Starting at the origin and just swinging that round to meet at the other end. So we'll accept that right mouse click to accept and then a parallel plane for the other end. I'm going to use a key point here just to position that. Now if I um, just did a straight line across here um, we'd have sort of like opposing um, ends, one's pointing out, one's pointing left. So I'm going to just um, add the internal bend on there just to give it sort of a little bit of a um, twist. So hit the A key and I can put in a 1mm thread, 90 degrees and right mouse click to stay within the command and start from the opposite side. Again hit the A key and 90 degrees. Connect that up. Um, something's not quite square there, so um, I'll apply a um, horizontal vertical onto there, and then I can come back in here and put a tangency between these two because these need to um, sort of be tangent, um, tangent continuous for that profile. So that creates my second profile. So now if I go into the lofted flange command, specify my start point, right mouse click, make sure that I'm getting the end point and accept that. Um, offset outside, 5mm thickness, so click to define that and you can see that we've sort of got quite a nice transition between the two and the sort of the edge is sort of dropping down quite nicely. So from here, um, I could do a flange coming off the top here. So if I go into the flange command, um, the first thing you will see is that we're getting an error. Um, that's because the end isn't quite formed um, correctly. So um, we could potentially go to a um, centered flange. Um, we'd need to add a little bit of um, gap at the ends, um, but also, if we do a control light, you can see that we're um, sort of coming off at an angle, so it's hard to sort of determine that. So in this case, I'm going to um, abort out of there and use a contour flange. So um, if you use plain normal to curve, I can pick up on the edge, and then you can specify how far you come in. So I want to just give a little bit of an offset of, say, 2 mil. And then I have to start drawing from that top edge. And this is approximately 45.3. And that's my profile. And then from here, we can just drag that out. Um, so if I go to the end point, I can see it's 215.4 effectively. So we'll come 2 mil in from that. So 213.4. And that sort of um, 
puts that in quite nicely. So from here, it's quite easy. I can just do a, a standard flange um, using my settings. I want to do a material outside, um, sorry, a dimension outside. And I want to put in a, um, say, a 50 mil distance off of there. So um, finally, um, I want to just extend this out. So um, if I do the uh, tab command, pick up on the edge, I could do this in two steps or um, I'm just going to choose the one. So I'm going to do a rectangle by two points. I hover over the um, edge there, I can pick up that. Same with there, so I can start drawing from that intersection and drop it down to here. What I'd also like to do is have a little bit of a, a clearance in here. So if I stay within that command, uh, sorry, rectangle by two points. And place that in there. And then I can use the trim command and just remove that piece there. I'll also use the projector sketch. And get the edge of the bend. Actually, I'm going to take that to a single wireframe. And then I'll need to add the clearance down the other end doing the same thing. So um, rectangle by two points from that endpoint to there. And then I can just use my trim command and just get rid of all these bits here. So that gives me my sort of clean edge. And I didn't clear away this end here. So that's just telling me that I have multiple profiles. And then coming out, that gives me my um, sort of um, completed um, sheet metal component.